the difference between men and women, the primary difference between men and women besides the penis and the vagina is the fact that with men, we can hold each other accountable. Mike can come to me. Oh, and no. No, 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 Mike, no, 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 Mike oh, will, let, let the man speak before y'all jump in because y'all cutting him off and it's not cool. No, let's not, let's be a little more respectable in that nature. Okay. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm simply say this now, don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. There is good and bad on each side. There are men who don't say shit to their homeboys when they fucking mm -hmm. up and, and that's due. So I'm not saying that, but I'm saying as a, as a cause as a whole, right, or as a good number, a lot of men will tell our homeboys, hey man, like Mike said a couple weeks ago, don't fuck up, man. Stop doing that bullshit. You know, you got a good one at home. Women will turn around and know their homegirl is cheating and help her cover the lie. Right. Listen, 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 listen. No, no, no. The so, fundamental difference is you are speaking about you and Mike, and then you switch it back to random women. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm not let my female friends cheat in peace. Right, you not, but I'm just saying as a I'm saying that's what I say as a whole, men as a whole will hold each other accountable mm -hmm. to shit. Women will find a way to make each other feel good. Men don't care about making one another feel good. What we care about ultimately is respect first and the truth. Well, and the truth. So, and I'm not saying that women don't, I'm not saying that all women lie to each other. So let me say that. But as a whole, we all know that there's at least, we either know of or know a woman out there that might have cheated or be cheating and her homegirl is helping her cover the lie. On the flip side, there are men out there as a whole that are, that will pull their homeboy aside and tell, at least talk to him. Maybe they're not going to run and tell the wife, but they're going to pull him aside and say, hey, man, I'm not going to tell on you, but you need to stop this before this blows up bad in your face. And then you want to come calling me because she wants a divorce and wants to take everything. A lot of men have that conversation with one another. It is at least perceived that a lot of women don't. They will allow their homegirl to and even assist her in the cheating and not hold accountability. So I'm not attacking anybody. Once again, I'm just stating facts or at least perceived facts. I'm not even attacking black women. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with black women. Hell, my wife is chocolate. So what's up? But I will say as a whole, if you wonder why, like me and Mike sometimes talk about all this stuff, because you two both have said you guys don't realize what's going on out in society. That's why I have a TikTok. That's why I have mm -hmm. a TikTok, because I like to watch the videos and I'm hearing this. And this is why, and and it is black. It was a black woman, Travis Kelsey's. By the way, his ex girlfriend was black. Who said, "I'm not, I'm not no. Do it look like I go 50 50 But he ran off to a white chick who did. Now, if Travis Kelsey was a black man who had did that that exact same thing, a lot of women would have dragged him for that. But why? That nigga because, would have got. See, I'm, I'm not. I'm not a lot of women. I I applaud him for getting up and getting better. See, that's the I, thing, though. Listen, that's, I see, I, I, don't, I don't I don't mind when when men go to other races like that. That that doesn't reflect on me at all. I don't know him. I don't want him. But the well, problem I, is, you I, say I, you and Mike and men hold each other accountable, but as a whole, women don't like the perceived. The way I see it, men don't hold each other accountable at all. How how many men cheat and they homeboy know about it? Or they cheat, their homeboy know about it, and he coming back to the house trying to hit on her because he know his homeboy cheating. Let me ask or you. How many question. men are rapists or deadbeats or felons and they homeboy know about it and not saying a word? Let me ask you that question. First of all, let me let, let's break something down. Yes, their men are felons. Women are felons too. They got women's prisons. And mm -hmm. second, women do rape men too. They rape kids also. It is. 
it is. So we can't say we, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of um sensitive men out here that get took advantage of by women physically. It is, and they're afraid to speak up and say anything. So we do hold each other accountable. We not gonna hold each other like man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, you a grown ass man. If you choose to do something, that's on you, player. That's not what he just said. He just said he gonna pull his homeboy to the side and tell him he fucking he messing up. The way you say one thing and way we say one thing is another. Look, don't fuck up. But it's on you, player. That's the conversation by making each other accountable. When we put the warning out there, don't fuck up. That's enough accountability right there. So do men cheat? Fuck yeah, we do. Have I, cheated? I know. have I cheated in my lifetime? You goddamn right I have. Do I feel bad about it? Fuck no, I didn't. But remember, I didn't strike first. But I will strike the hardest though. But that's the way women re react. So that not holding her accountable, more likely than not, she'd have been cheated on and we just supporting her. Okay, y'all got cheated on. Y'all supporting them. We ain't finna tell a motherfucker so. Yeah, I went and cheated on my wife. I'm finna tell everybody. No, we ain't finna do that. Because guess what? We know how Negroes are. Yeah, we already know. We know are. You know what I'm saying? So we not finna tell every... Look, it's like this. Look, say, for example, I'm married. I'm not gonna say, hey, Thomas, man, I went and had sex with this other chick the other day, man. I was blowing her back out, man. Look, I'm finna bring her around at the barbecue. No, we ain't finna do that. Cause we know we know to shut the fuck up. Say Thomas was single and I brought a, a random broad over to the way. Guess what? Your turn. That's how we do. And we don't care. Because you know for a fact that I got a woman at home and you still let me get them guts. You are now community property. We don't like you. We don't love you. We don't respect you. That, that's not completely true. You know they be falling in love with the trick all the time. What all the time. Mean? Knowing, knowing he didn't already pay for it. Now he in love with it. What you First missing? All, you you all, talking about you two. That's not men as a whole. First of all, a lot of men that trick off ain't falling in love. They not. Mm -hmm. Tell a fucking line to be mm -hmm. let's, let's be honest. I can go buy a bitch for $3. Do I love that hoe? Seven. Man. Whatever the case may be, do I love that hoe? Fuck no. I go home to my woman every motherfucking night. So, do I fall in love with her? Nope. I fall in love with what she do, not who she is. The woman I'm in love with, I fall in love with the woman, the woman that she is. Just because she got a big-ass booty, nice titties, 